Our closest neighbour Venus has 900 craters named after women and 116 mountains named after goddesses, some of which are part of the mountain range called Maxwell Montes, the only feature on all of Venus named after a man. To find out how this came to be, you have to understand the history of astronomical naming conventions. Before the invention of the telescope, there were a few hundred names for celestial objects, describing the most visible planets and stars. Today, there are over one billion identifiable objects, including craters and valleys on other planets. To create unambiguous names for all these new features which kept being discovered, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, was created in 1919 to select official names and naming rules for solar system bodies. In 1967, scientists at the Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico discovered highlands on Venus and named them Maxwell Montes, after mathematician James Clerk Maxwell. However, it wasn't until six years later, in 1973, that the IAU created the naming convention for Venus that all features must carry female names. Rather than rename the Maxwell Montes, the IAU decided that all new names on the planet would follow this rule, thus forever making the Maxwell Montes the only male name for a feature on Venus. Other bodies in our solar system also have odd naming conventions. Craters on Mercury, for instance, must be named after famous deceased artists, musicians, painters or authors, while valleys are named after radio telescope facilities. On Mars, craters of size lesser than 20 kilometers in diameter are named after cities of the world with less than 100,000 inhabitants. Volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io are named after fire and thunder gods, and crater chains are named after sun gods. Craters on Europa are named after Celtic gods, those on Ganymede are named after gods of the ancient fertile crescent people, and those on Callisto are named after heroes and heroines of Norse mythology. The liquid hydrocarbon lakes on Saturn's moon Titan are named after lakes on Earth with similar shapes, such as Lake Abaya. However, there's also a lake named after the Kraken Sea Monster. When it comes to naming the hundreds of millions of stars, the IAU assigns a systematic code which also shows some information about the star. The IAU won't let you name stars, but there are some companies which for a sum of money allow you to name stars, but the IAU makes sure they have nothing to do with it, saying on their website that even if you do find a unique star name, there are more than enough stars for everyone who wants to buy the name of one. However, no countries, authorities or scientists in the world will recognise your name for the star. Nothing prevents you or any other dealer from selling your star to anyone else. And just think of all the other stars in the universe that also have planets with smart business people on them.